not even a month before he took his life. He reached out to therapists and couldn't afford copays. Danny Crespo was one of my best friends and a father of three. He got sick, he had diverticulitis, got a throat infection, triggered diabetes, and um, he was rushed to the hospital with a sugar of 1650. He was in a coma three days and was lucky to make it through. When he got better, he went back to work. He had medical bills piling up. He couldn't afford his medication. I have a box full of medical bills that he accumulated um, trying to survive, trying to stay alive. He had Medicaid and was making 10 10 an hour and still couldn't get his medication. That's ridiculous. It is totally absurd that one out of five patients in this country who get a prescription from their doctors are unable to fill that prescription because they cannot afford the price of the medicine. The people of our country pay by far, not even close, the highest prices in the world for the prescription drugs they need. That has got to end. I'm advocating for Medicare for all, and I continue to, because it's the only way for me to take this pain and turn it into something positive. Danny would have been able to get his insurance and he'd be here for his kids and for all of us. They're missing out on a life with their father because of this. And that's not fair. And whether you're rich, whether you're poor, we all get sick and we all should be able to access health care. We should be able to access our medications. No one should be in debt or lose everything, have to put their house up just to live, to survive. I would say to all of the CEOs of these big pharmaceutical companies, is basically no one's life is worth hundreds of millions of dollars or everyone should have health care point blank. Please do not tell us that this is a rational health care system. It is not a radical idea to say that in the United States, every American who goes to a doctor should be able to afford the prescription drugs he or she needs.